from a distance, Conia maculatum looks almost innocent, fern-like leaves, delicate white flowers, but inside that lacework of green is one of the most elegant neurotoxins nature ever devised. Hemlock's lethality comes from a cocktail of piperidine alkaloids. Chief among them are coniine, the same compound that killed Socrates. Here's how it works. In a healthy body, nerves talk to muscles through electrical signals carried by acetylcholine. It's the spark that lets you blink, breathe, or lift your hand. Coniine mimics that molecule, but it doesn't switch off. Once it binds to your nicotinic receptors, it holds them open, flooding the system with false signals until nerves stop responding. The body seizes, then falls silent. The brain remains awake, but the body can no longer obey, which is just nightmare fuel. Think about it. You stay fully conscious while your muscles, including your diaphragm, paralyze. Since your diaphragm freezes, your lungs stop pulling in air or pushing it out. It's a calm kind of suffocation. That's what makes it the perfect state poison. Swift, predictable, and above all, orderly. Ancient accounts of Athenian executions describe it as almost clinical. Victims lose sensation in their feet first, then legs, then chest, until the lungs simply stop. Death came without convulsion or bloodshed. No muss, no fuss.